As we're going to talk about the younger votes right now, joining me is Katrina Fid with Chicago Votes, which works to encourage younger voters to get involved so they can change politics as usual. Katrina was also here in February when we were talking about the younger voter turnout, which wasn't that great. What is the difference this time around? Yeah, this time I'm back with some good news. <laughs> um, voters aged 18 to 24 saw an increase of 32% in votes since the February election just six weeks ago. And then when you look at voters aged 25 to 34, you see a 24% increase. Um, so when you combine those two age groups, which we classify as like the young voters, they're making up about 20% of the electorate. And that's a substantial amount of power that they carry, that we carry um, this election cycle. Oh, well, I remember you and I were talking in February. And you said, I'm going to get out there and we're going to keep working during this runoff campaign. What has Chicago Votes been doing the last few weeks to drive out that younger vote? Yeah, so between the the February election and now we have not stopped. We put out another voter guide fo solely focusing on Brandon Johnson and Paul Vallis and another questionnaire was sent to the candidates. They completed it. That has been distributed in Cook County Jail, um, mailed to young voters throughout the city, uh, distributed by, by community partners as well. In addition to that, we've hosted parades to the polls with high schools again. We had a huge party at the polls last week with about 400 high school students from, um, I believe, 13 high schools around the city that came to vote and motivate their peers to vote as well. And I think there's just been a lot of mobilization. I mean, this is not a small accomplishment. We have organizations like Good Kids Mad City hosting events, constantly updating young people on Twitter. Um, Healthy Hood hosting mayoral forums. So there's been a robust get out the vote campaign by nonprofits and grassroots organizations in addition to the campaigns. Now, for those who are not familiar with Chicago Votes, what is the general age that you target and, and reach? And what is your message to them about how important this is to get involved? Yeah, we primarily serve people 16 to 35. And the overall goal is just to break down barriers young people face to civics and voting is one of those things. So getting, getting the youth voice out there is so, so important because we know elected officials are held accountable by their constituents. And if they don't think young people are gonna be voting, they don't take them as seriously as constituents. So that's why it's super important that we get out there and we show them that we are a force, we are powerful, and we can decide these elections Well, the too. numbers are showing this time around. Katrina, thank you so much for joining us and congratulations on that, all the work that you all put in. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.